tonight on Doolittle Campers. Claire enters herself for a boxing match. I turn cow juice into pasteurised milk. And we visit a farm that has no links whatsoever to the BBC. Good morning. Hello. Welcome to another vlog. So we are on a campsite. We've met up with, who have we met up with? The Wandering Wheelie. The Wandering Liam Wheelie. And uh, Liam and Dee. We've gone somewhere special with them. And we're about to go there right now. Mm -hmm. But we had a really nice time yesterday, didn't we? Yeah, so we've been catching up. We got here a lot late afternoon, was it? Yeah. Uh, we've been catching up with Liam and Dee. And we, you had a bit gone this year. Yeah, there, I had a go on Liam's scooter. It was great fun, and I'm hoping I've not seen the footage yet, but Claire reckons it's funny footage. Yeah. Hoping it's going to be really funny footage. So why don't you watch that whilst we get ready to take you somewhere yeah. special? Yeah. Right, yeah. quick, quick briefing on, before David on. takes yeah. the helm. He's got uh, ambulance on standby, I think. That is dual motor, so motor at the front, motor at the back. I will just put it on one. Yeah. So That's you're on single idea. motor, right. which is to be the slowest. Yeah. So kick off, press that thing. Right. Yeah. Kick off, press that thing. <laughs> He's getting out of it. That's easy. That is. Yeah. That's good. There he goes. Still on level one with dual motor. And that's the top speed. No. Nope. <laughs> no. No. <Nope. laughs> I'll see you later. Whoa. <laughs> okay, just got serious. The helmet's come out. What speed are we going on now, guys? So, dual motor, level two, should take it up to about 30 miles an hour. 30 miles an hour. I've got that ambulance on standby. <laughs> <laughs> right. I know, Tessie. Can It'll I just right. point out as well, flip flops. Oh, you're doing it flip flops. <laughs> oh my good, and socks. Yeah. <laughs> Here we yeah, go. That's fast. <laughs> that's fast. That's very fast. <laughs> so the first clue is that the campsite is in Oxfordshire. Narrows it down, doesn't it? So the second clue is, you would normally see animals at this place, but you might not see any today. You might find that while we're there, we'll do diddly squat. The drive here was about an hour and a half for us, but we was in top gear. The final clue is that the man that owns this farm has never, ever been sacked by the BBC. He left of his own accord. Yes, we are at Jeremy Clarkson's farm. Diddly Scott in Chipping Norton. We're on our way in. Let's see how much we can't I'm afford not. to spend. I can't do it. Dogs waited politely um, and well behaved, but they're not allowed. Yet. form at diddly squat so i'm stuck outside with the dogs because dogs are not allowed in while the others explore the farm shop here he comes yeah so how was diddly squat farm shop david it was i want to say small and understated if i'm honest <laughs> <laughs> so not like jeremy Clark. but <laughs> this is what i'm shocked at i thought it would be crazy out there wacky uh it is but yeah but i bought a few bits okay let's have a look what you got so, for getting milk later, I thought we'll get this bottle because we can keep it in the oh, fridge look. and we can refill it. Diddly Scott, 
yeah, I like that. And it cool. tells you on the back, it tells you all about their uh, their cow juice and how it's made. Okay, lovely. Yeah. So let's get that back in the bag without smashing it. Tessie, get down. <laughs> I got a bottle opener with Clarkson's Lager. Lovely. Yeah. Oh, we'll have to try that later, won't we? Yeah. yeah. I don't know what that ends for. If anyone knows, comment down below. Is that for like plastic caps, maybe? Mm. I don't know. Or is it just for hanging somewhere? Maybe. I got um, the lager and the cider, and I also got something special. What, the Rockstone? Yeah, yeah, oh, yeah. you actually bought some? I bought a bottle of each, so oh, okay. we can have half so a bottle each. It, yeah. So it's only to try, because it's quite expensive. And what have you got there? <laughs> <laughs> I thought I'd see how you reacted to that. <laughs> well, yes, I can't wait to try that. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, a few goodies that come to... 25 pounds. How much? 25 pounds. <laughs> <laughs> right, let's go and find Liam and Dee and get breakfast. So around the back of the shop is the bar. So I'm here with Jeremy and he's going to tell me what he thinks of the farm. I mean, it was a, an ingenious idea of mine to come up with this. <laughs> you know, um, I've not got quite enough money, so I thought I'd uh, have the farm encourage everyone to come and visit and make a bit more. <laughs> That's actually Liam, uh, it weren't really Jeremy. What do you think to it, Liam? Up to now, yeah, fantastic. Yeah. Um, a little bit overpriced, but yeah, uh, yeah. hey ho, you know. Um, but yeah, really good. We're yeah. just about to sample the breakfast. Yeah. So we'll see what that's like. Hopefully it's locally produced. Yeah. Um, but yeah, it's really What are you begging for? What do you want? Do you want a sausage? <laughs> do you want a sausage? Are you going to have a sausage? Has Daddy got your sausage? Shall I get you a sausage? Yeah. Is that what you want? <laughs> do you want a sausage? <laughs> do you want a sausage? <laughs> so you order at the bar and you have to go out to the wagon to collect. But it's raining. It's that fine rain that soaks you through. We pick it up from here. Hello. <laughs> it's raining. Rain has stopped play, hasn't it, David? It has. And uh, we're just sitting in the van. Yeah. Chilling. It's bloody cold as well, so we've had to put the heating on. In yeah. July? What is that about? Ridiculous. Okay, so it's still raining outside. It is. Um, so we thought there was only one thing for it. We thought we'd get drunk. <laughs> So we're going to have a little tasting session of Jeremy Clarkson's very own Hawkstone Lager and Cider. So we are going to, we've got a bottle of each of the lager and the cider. We are going to have uh, some of the cider on its own. And then we're going to have some of the lager on its own. And then we're going to have a little cheeky Ooh. snake bite and mix the two. So uh, this is what Clarkson thinks of it. Let's, Let's see if, see if we, we agree. agree. <laughs> just before we open it, I just wanted to say we are not drinking and driving. Tessie is going to drive for us. Yeah. So this is the lager. So we'll give that a try and we'll see what we think. Yeah. Okay, let's go. Hmm. I'll be honest, it's not bad, actually. I agree with the sign. I think he's right to make that claim. It's not bad. I normally need to put um, blackcurrant squash yeah. or lime or something in it. It's not bad. I drink that over a lot of bitters, yeah. I actually, probably would at the still minute. put squash in it, but I wanted to try it without first. Yeah. So. Can I just say, I am drinking lager out of a London Pride glass. And I'm drinking um. out of a Thatcher's <laughs> cider glass. Please don't judge us. We've only got a small camper van. We can't bring all the glasses away. With us. And the nick glasses as well. <laughs> I think Tessie wants some. Look at this. She's got a pour up there. She's begging. You can't not... drink and drive. No, no, no. You're not having this, darling. This isn't doggy friendly. It's got wheat in it. I don't think you're allowed wheat. No, you can't have it. No, you can't have mine either. You're not alcoholic dog. So I have just put a little drop of blackcurrant in just for taste. So we're gonna what we're gonna do is we're gonna finish these leisurely. Um and then we'll give you a shout when we're ready to try the cider. 
Yeah. Well, enjoyed that. I'm ready for my cider now. I don't know about you. That was the best lager I've ever tasted. <laughs> I will go and I will put it out there and say that. Okay. Right, on to the cider. Let's crack on. So here we go with the cider. With the cider. Looks good. Yeah. Smells fresh. Can you say fresh? Um, I don't want to say what I think that smells like. <laughs> what does it smell like? That smells like urine. It does not. I wouldn't put it past Clark's and to sell off his urine. I think it will taste better than it smells. It doesn't really good. Yeah, yeah, it's quite nice actually. Yeah, it's nice. Again, there's not really. Um... I'd say it's similar to Magnus, but not yeah. as not as fizzy. And it's not as sharp. Not as sharp. No, yeah. no, no. I think that's sweet. There's some good apples gone into that. Yeah, I like it. And just for the record, if you want to get drunk, mm. the cider is the more cost-effective option. The lager, yeah, so I the, think, it's quite a different in size. Yes, for three hundred and thirty mil, mm. that was three pound. I want to say three pound seventy, and the cider was two pound forty. I think we will join you again when we go on to the proper stuff. Okay, so what did you say, Claire? You can't have drink without snacks. So no. I've got some from Krispies out. These taste very much like a very very popular brand of cheesy. Caterpillar type things. It's alright, we're not the BBC, we can say what's it. <laughs> um, I can't remember whose they actually are, it's a company I've never heard of. We'll put a picture up. Yeah. Um, but they're just like what's it, and um, these are just like hot ones. Mm, but they're, they're just like spicy what's it. A little bit spicy, but they're quite nice. So yeah, we're going to have some snacks, we'll finish our cider, we'll be back to you with snake bite. Okay, so now we're ready for the snake bite. We just had a bit of a debate off camera. Claire says, shall I put in the cider first or should I put in the lager first? Now I said, Bean, as you've got more cider, I said, do the cider first, do half a bottle in each glass and then top, top it with the lager. Make, Comment down below sense. which way round mm. you would make a snake bite. Would you or do it differently? Matters. Or does it matter? No. So we're going to try it without blackcurrant first. Yeah. So just a snake bite. Then mm. we're going to do a snake bite black. Go on then, Claire, crack them open. I'm excited about this. Oh, by the way, as well, the bottle opener, we're really impressed with. We've yeah. got that from next I door as well. I didn't know at that well. time, but you open it and you can actually, it just holds it, so don't... Yeah, it holds it and drops it in the crisps. Um, <laughs> but we got that, you can tell that we don't practice these. Um, we got that from next door, from mm. Clarkson's Farm. Um, but yeah, we really like that. Yeah. That's really heavy, substantial, really good. Yeah, and we, can, we don't know what this ends for. No. Question well, maybe down below. just for hanging up, but it's mm. it, yeah, it looks like it's yeah. I don't know if it's just for hanging up, but you can hang it something. over there, can't you? <laughs> um, hang it over the light. You can tell we've been drinking, can't you? Yeah, right, let's listen this one. Here we go. All right, here we go. So, let me see if I can do this now. See, look, it carries it. There you go. Is there anything left in this one? You've actually got more cider than me, but I'm gonna let it. I'm gonna let it slide. I'm gonna let it slide. Let it go. <laughs> let it go. Copyright strike right there. <laughs> right, right. So, snake bite. So this is cider and lager. Yeah. Cheers. So this normally messes with your head. That's really good. <laughs> to be That's honest, really I could drink that without black, but mm. I'm gonna put black in because it will really take. Nice. It will take me back to my uni days. Oh, where's, the, where's the black? Let's have yeah, a little good. bit of black. Just pour it. <laughs> <laughs> Is that enough? Um, yeah, I think so. We'll give it a go. Oh. <laughs> Some guy up your nose did it. <laughs> She's only on her third drink. Problem is, once we run out of this, or we've got left cherry brandy. If it stops raining, we might go next we'll door go and to... get some more. <laughs> yeah. We go to the bar and get some more. You should know you like it. Now. That's amazing. Yes. That's really good. Yeah, I did say I didn't need black currant in it, but the black just finishes it off. You know what? Fair. Can I just say? Go on. We've been stuck in here because it's been raining, yeah. but I've actually really enjoyed this, so... 
Good. Spoken by a true alcoholic. Cheers. 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 <laughs> so, Thank you. Uh, it is still slightly raining, but Claire's run out of alcohol. You obviously saw us trying it out. Um, so we've dragged the guys from Wandering Wheelie back out. Um, and we're going back up to Clarkson's farm. We've got an hour left. We've got an hour We've left an hour until left they closed. To get some, uh, but uh, I don't think we can afford to drink for an hour anyway at those prices. Yes, I can confirm it is. <laughs> okay, so now I'm trying the IPA. I've had the lager and I've had the cider. The IPA is just as good, and it's not often you get a brand that does a good lager, cider, and a, and a proper beer. So yeah. Claire's pulling funny, fa funny faces behind. <laughs> funny She's pulling faces. funny faces behind the camera at me, trying to get me to laugh. Um, and because I've had a few, she's being a bit successful. <laughs> um, anyway, yeah, it's good. Last ones to leave. <laughs> Last ones to leave. So basically how it works, you get a free bottle there or you can pay £6.95 for this bottle. I'm going to tell you the truth. If you've watched Wandering Wheelie, you'll see that they've uh, exaggerated and they've lied and Liam said it was like £99. <laughs> we deal in fact, not fiction on this channel. Um, so yeah, £6.95 when the shop's open. Um, so first of all, we're going to choose what we want. So we want the one litre. Now we want to press start first. Then we want to select what we want, so it's a one litre bottle. Is there any other selections? No, uh, there's emergency stop. <laughs> right, now we present our card. Hang on, let me just put my thumb over it because there's some dodgy people out there. <laughs> I don't want them seeing my card number. Right, that's now all gone through. So that's unlocked. Wow, we started! <laughs> I started before I had a chance to get it under. It should be in there already. We're going to get short change now. It's going to be about that much short because that's how much it spurted out before. Here we go. Yeah, that's what I said. We missed that much. Because if you'd have read the flipping <coughs> sign, yeah, but push in the bottle before you do the whole cash thing. Yeah, but go back. Go back. They're women's instructions. And I say, no, this isn't sexist. The reason why they, no, don't swear. The reason why they're women's instructions is that men don't read instructions. So we wouldn't have read that, so I wouldn't have known I was wrong. But, here we go. Almost a litre of cow juice. Look at that, cow juice. Shall I try it? Go on then. <laughs> That's good. Does it taste like it come from a cow? Yeah. <laughs> cow juice. Can I people. just say, right? Can I just say something? It wasn't initially pasteurized. It is now pasteurized. <laughs> pasteurized. Finally leaving Diddley Squat site. Don't feel my shoes. David's still wearing sliders and socks. Do you know what? Millennials love that. <laughs> it's my last chance of being young, that is. <laughs> On a serious note, you see how close, you see how close the campsite is to the farm? So literally, it's just the other side of that bus stop. Uh -huh. This weren't there earlier. Oh, is this food? Yeah. So back at the van now, and I tell you what, it's been a right result because at the entrance to the campsite, there was a fish and chip van. <laughs> and do you know what? They did halloumi, battered halloumi and chips, and you had mozzarella dippers and chips. Yeah. So it made absolute sense, I've... rather than make me cook, made absolute sense to have this. I've started because I'm starving. 
Claire started because she's starving. Anyway, I'm going to eat this, then we're going to walk the dogs, and then we're going to go over to Liam and Dee's because they've got a virtual reality experience. Right. So we're at Liam and Dee's van at the minute. Um, they're actually going to get us on a virtual reality headset. Apparently, I'm going to go on a roller coaster whilst I sit in their van. Now when you go to Alton Towers or Fort Park and you have to stand in a queue for hours on end, well this is like my version of standing in the queue. Waiting, for, waiting been for your set, turn. Yeah, Liam's <laughs> been setting this up for at least the last 20 minutes. <laughs> Exaggeration. There's a bit of it. There's a man waving at me. Hello. You can see the sky up there. Whoa, I've just seen where I've got to go up to. <laughs> You're bloody kidding me. Here we go, that's what you see. Oh, okay. There we go, here we go, here we go. That's exactly what David's seeing. Okay, so you can see by the red marks around my face that I've just had a go at it. Um, I think Claire's got some photo of me, videos of me looking like a the, div. Um, it's now here. Claire's turn. <laughs> What's she dancing for? Oh Don't my look. God, there's a boulder! Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, it's on top. <laughs> That's your kiss. And Tessie. <laughs> 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 I don't like it. I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> oh, I've got it now. Yeah. <laughs> I don't like it. I don't like it. I got it. So that was another fun weekend from the Doolittles. We've had a good time. We hope you've enjoyed it. So, David, tell me what your favourite part of the weekend was, please. My favourite part of the weekend was um, having beers last night or yesterday afternoon in Jeremy Clarkson's farm in the barn. Yeah. It was just such a nice vibe. There was yeah. music playing. It was like being in a pub. Um, the actual farm shop itself, I can't believe I'm saying this, um, when it's related to Jeremy Clarkson, but it's small and understated. <laughs> but the barn out the back, uh, the barn out the back, and the fact you can have food and the drink that he brews himself, you know, that was really nice. Um, so yeah, that was definitely my favourite part. What was your favourite part? Yeah, so we started the drinking in the van, didn't we, which was quite fun. Yeah. Um, although rain stopped play, we still had quite a nice afternoon. And uh, yeah, at least we managed to get out later on. I think my favourite part, you're gonna laugh, is the sausage sandwich I had at Dudley Squat Farm. That sausage roll was amazing. It was like a brioche bun, beautiful. The sausages were really, really nice. Yeah, so I think that was my favourite. Good. Food, food wise. But obviously, we've had a really, really good weekend. It's been lovely catching up with Liam and Dee from the Wandering Wheelie. So, do check out the channel if you haven't already because they are they're fun people, they're lovely people, and we've had a really good time, haven't we? So, yeah. I think that's about all we've got to say, really. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, tune in for the next one. We'll see you soon.